Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I wanted to make a quick video today to show you how to fix the texture issues in Bully Scholarship Edition for PC. Uh, I want to let you know this fix should work on the Steam version or retail version, whatever you have. And I also want to point out that this fix wasn't discovered by me. I actually found it on the Steam community page and it was pretty difficult to find. But it was pointed out by Armis123 uh, that he found it out and it was something with the registry. And Razorback86 was the one who went into more detail and that's what I followed but I can't find any videos on YouTube or anywhere of how to fix this so I thought I'd give you a quick walkthrough on how to do it so uh, I'm gonna show you what it looks like before the fix uh, excuse the lag it's not actually lagging on the game it's just because I'm using cam studio and it's not working the best but as you see the textures aren't loading as they should be clear walls clear floors alright so what you wanna do is quit out first because you'll have to restart it later for it to work correctly and you want to click on start on the bottom left type in reg edit r e g e d i t and you want to go to h key local machine software scroll all the way down to WoW 6432 node and go down to Microsoft then direct draw and then you're gonna right click on emulation only click modify and change value data from 1 to 0 and you can close out of that Let's open bully back up I'll just fast forward through all this so you're gonna have to wait. Yes. Alright, and we're back. And as you see, all the textures loaded. There's no issues with it. All the textures are coming in fine. You can't see through the walls or floors and everything. And it's all working perfectly. So uh, if this video helped you, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And uh, I wanted to leave you one other thing. If you decide to do like a registry defrag or a computer defrag, it might reset that value, the value data, back to 1. So if that happens, just go back in there and change it back. I just never have a need to defrag my registry, but I just want to let you know because some people do that quite often. But yeah, if this video helped you, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to help you out.